Welcome to Cyst Busting Saturday, featuring the work of Dr. John Gilmore, one of YouTube's favorite doctors. And please subscribe to see more videos of YouTube's best doctors. Okay. Hello everyone, this is Dr. Gilmore with our patient Ralph. You can't see Ralph. Ralph has a cyst on the top of his scalp. We're pretty sure he's got a pilar cyst. We're going to take that off. This will be the first procedure I get to do since I had neck surgery almost three weeks ago. So I have Misty assisting me. Misty, I will need you to remove the collar so I may perform this procedure, please. Okay. Okay. So Misty is going to be our assistant. Misty, are you ready? I'm ready. Are you a superstar? I'm, I was born a superstar. All right. Let's adjust the camera and just get Ralph taken care of. All right. All right, Ralph, you said you've had a history of getting these kind of bumps, right? Mm -hmm. They're running your family, yep. in fact. Now, that's fairly unusual mm. to hear about people having run in the family. I mean, you know, we think all kinds of diseases or illnesses run in families. That, in and of itself, isn't unusual, but I've never really heard of a family that had these kinds of cysts show up on the scalp fairly regularly. Well, my father, I know my father had a, a number of them. Did he really? Yep. I've had maybe, I don't know, half a dozen. Got swab again. Oh, you did it away? Yeah, I did because this came loose. I'm going to have to use up an extra one. So your father had a bunch of them, huh? Uh, a, a few, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. And when was the last time you had to have one taken off? Oh, man. It was Dr. McClendon here. No kidding. All right. I'm going to use a little bit of medicine here to numb you up. Are you ready? Mm hmm. A little cold spray helps kind of make it not hurt as much. You're going to feel a little stick sting and a burn. There we go as the medicine kind of goes in. Working its way through, changing colors there. That means the uh, skin is blanching from turgor pressure. And that just means that the pressure from the medication is forcing everything else out of the interstitial area around the cells in the skin so it changes color. This is just temporary. This does have a little epinephrine in it, so uh, we should see less bleeding. Good. That turned out work right there. And a little alcohol. This? Oh, this. Oh, sorry. Okay, 15 blade. Thank you. Four by four, please. Okay. We're going to go ahead and make the first incision. Are you ready, Mr. Ralph? Mm -hmm. You did say it was okay if we videoed your procedure for all our friends on YouTube. I said that's just fine, yeah. I think you did. So a little 15 blades so we can make a curve. All right. We want to make a curve because we've got uh, basically a convex surface that we're going to bring together after we take out the cyst. So actually that turned out to be pretty close to what I wanted. Good, I like that. Yes, ma'am. How about the forceps, please? There we go. Got any summer plans, Ralph? Or is the summer yeah. over? Summer's over. <laughs> it's uh, we were That's in sure. Alaska for a week. Oh, no kidding. What part? It's nice. The southern, uh, one of the cruisers, the southern. Did you go near Kachemak or? Right. Uh, uh -huh. So start in Seattle, go up. Yeah. Uh, two or three stops, including Ketchikan. What a great trip. Great time of year, too, huh? Mm hmm. It's the only time of year you can actually see anything. Because mm -hmm. <laughs> the rest of the time it's dark. It was pretty <laughs> hazy sometimes, even then, even in July. Yep. I went fishing a number of years ago, and it was one of the most spectacular experiences of my life. I fished off of the uh, Homer area there. And uh, it was fantastic. You know what? I might need somebody over here to dab for me just a little bit. We definitely had Epi, right, Misty? Yes, we did. Okay, just check it. There we go. If you'll dab for me, I believe we can start right here. Dab. I'll just get right here. You feeling okay, Ralph? Mm hmm. No I pain, just, right? I just feel the pressure of your hands, that's all, nothing okay. else. That's what we want. You got something for my nose over there? I could. You could? That would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. It's not funny. 
Well, it's a little funny. It is. I'm used to it, obviously. So we're just removing this excess piece of skin. Nice deep breaths, Ralph. You're doing fine. You dab for me. So now we're down to where the cyst is, and that's the magic of it all. So we're going to make an incision across the cyst, and then we're going to remove it. There's that. And let's get a little squeeze here. Low pressure, my friend. We're going to empty this. Now this is full of material, protonaceous material that's been built up in here for a while. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to squeeze this out because this makes it easier for us to get the sack from the cyst, okay? Mm. And it's some work too. Thank you. It's about the consistency, uh, I would say, of cake frosting, for those who wonder. The, uh, I would say, of cake frosting, for those who wonder. I'm sorry, Misty. Is that more than you wanted to hear? Well, I'm going to picture this every time I eat cake. Well, you'll be getting thinner. It's stopping me. It's not stopping me. <laughs> All right. Feeling pain? Nope. Okay, good. So I need the hemostat, please, ma'am. I need a, a shampoo and conditioner after this. He might. Mm -hmm. We set him up for the <laughs> the gummy jean the gummy jean spa special. <laughs> I don't know what else? Can I get another four by four? Thanks. Are you feeling any pain at all? Nope. Good. Just about there. It's a big one. It is a big one. We knew it was going to be oh, wow. big coming out, though. We're on the onset. All right. Now we have no cyst. Good. That was the plan, wasn't it? <laughs> well, I don't know. I guess. I guess so. Let's get that little piece of. That's just scar right there. But let me get it in. Heal well too. An eye socket. Uh, eye we can socket. say eye socket. We can say eye socket. Mm -hmm. Let's do a little flush here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have some wet ones with a little peroxide on them? All right. Let's cut that right there. All right, you got a wet. Oh, yeah. You did say that, didn't you? It's always nice to see a nice, pretty one like that. Thank you. First stitch went in just right, just the way I wanted it. Good. She knows now. Well, she won't know. I got another week till this video gets out. Come on. Okay. <laughs> I'll be in trouble when that happens. Right. You can bet. In trouble later. You can bet it will. I can't find my blue. There it is. Oh, I didn't silence my phone earlier. Is it beeping? It's dinging. Mm hmm. I'm getting my shakes back a little bit now. I thought I did pretty good for the first part. Give me a little cut right there, please, ma'am. These dressings down now, Ralph. 
So hold still for me just a moment longer. Got that. Let's see about taking this first one off here. Hope this doesn't stick to your hair too much, but I'm afraid it's going to. Ow. Oh yeah, it did, didn't it? Yeah. Does that hurt? A little bit? A little bit. Let's do this one first. There we go. You got a four by four? Yeah. Sometimes that's the best way to do it. Right, a little Thanks. bit of blood there. Four by four. Okay, a little compression dressing, Gummy Jean. Okay. And we're going to stop right here, so we can turn that off. Thanks for letting us video, Ralph. You did a great job, bud. You're welcome. Hello, Dr. Gilmore. It's Jane. Uh, I tried your Meta 7 for 20 days now, and before I tried it, I think, I don't know, I was, I was so, sub, I was sluggish, and, and just didn't feel like doing a thing. I worked 32 hours a week, sometimes 40, and, uh, I have a boyfriend now, so I need that extra energy, so, after watching many of your videos and some of your um, patients talking about the Meta 7, I decided to get it. And after, I th I know it was a week, I know it was, I started feeling some energy coming on. So this is great. <laughs> I think it's awesome that you invented it and you are an intelligent man. You should commercialize the product. You would make a lot more money, I'm sure. I'm sure you would. I'm feeling better than I have in a long time. And it's all thanks to you and Meta7. I'm not going to start taking it. I'm not going to stop taking it now. So just keep making it so we can take more. Have a good day. Order yours today. There's an Amazon link in the description below.